Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Fishy Angler's channel. Today I'm back to Chesapeake Bay and I'm gonna try to catch some stripers. If you've seen my previous video, I was here um, and weather chased us away. The wind picked up like 15 to 20 miles an hour and uh, this boat is not made for those waves. So we barely got back really slow it took us an hour to get back to the ramp and we pretty much were all soaking wet so but today weather is nice it's sunny light wind so hopefully it's gonna stay that way because last time those high winds weren't in the forecast it was just right before the rain so anyhow i'm gonna wet my line and we'll see what we can get today. All right, guys, blood worms are in. All we have to do now, just wait for the bite. And there it was, while I was putting worm on the hook, the squirt of blood got into the camera lens and I haven't noticed it until the end of the video. So sorry for the messy view. Oh, looks like we get bites over here. Looks like we get some bite over here. Ah, oh, fish on <laughs> Fish on. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Ah, it's a schoolie striper. Oh, and he came off. There you go. There's a small one, probably 16, 16 inches or so. Oh well. Got off. Okay, at least there was a bite. So we'll see if we catch any more. There is another bite. There is another bite. shaking his head so let's see what it is <laughs> looks like another school driver yep Yeah, he's 16 inches. All right, we'll let him go. <laughs> nice. Well, looks like small ones here today, but hopefully they're a big one when we'll show up. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Yeah, it looks like something small as well. It looks like schoolish show up here. Yep, another one. Another schoolie. <laughs> he came off. Uh, what's going on? I hope it's good and everything. I don't know what's going on. 
All right. It's time to put fresh worms on the hook. So here we go. All right. I'm already getting bite, guys. I just toss it in. And we already got the bite right away. just moved to a deeper spot and another catfish uh, you bastard you little bastard yeah I moved to 10 feet deep Well, as you can see, even on the fish finder, it's showing some fish down there. So this is swimming off the bottom. Probably stripers. I mean, you can see some nice fish there. Oh, here's the bite. Here's another bite. It. All right. Okay. All right. Something is hidden here. Fish on. Fish on, guys. Let's see what it is. Another catfish, maybe. Or maybe something else. Yeah, it's a catfish. Another small catfish. So I got in a catfish kingdom here. this another small cat uh, and there's something here biting too like something already sitting there uh, just came off yep it was actually headed in his mouth already okay bait the hooks again
striper. <laughs> there you go, guys. Seventeen and a half. Seventeen and a half inches. Striper. <laughs> All right. Ooh. It was ready to go. All right, and the thing is that I'm running out of worms, so. Soon, I'll have no bloodworms. Finita la camellia. Well, guys, I'm officially run out the worms. Just put the last ones. All right. Let's see what we can get on those. And I may, I may cast some of the fish out and see if they would be willing to buy that. There you go. We got the white perch. Well, officially, it's multi species today. There you go, guys. <laughs> white perch eating my last bloodworm. All right. Well guys, this was my day. When tide changed, I ran out of uh, blood worms. And uh, after I caught that white perch and let it go, I thought, well, I should have kept it and maybe cut them into pieces and uh, try to catch something else. Maybe catfish, but um, well, that was too late. Anyhow, I mean, it was not a bad day. I caught a couple of stripers and a few catfish, white perch. It was multi-species day. So, well guys, and if you like this video, hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. And I'll see you all next time.